Hello, thank you very much, uh, Klaus, for inviting me to this uh, very nice uh, conference. So now what I would like to do is um, demonstrate a bit my own interpretation of type erasure. And uh, of course, this is heavily inspired by uh, talks from Klaus and uh, Archer uh, O'Dwyer and many others. And as uh, Klaus explained, uh, I have here two very separate and independent classes, cat and dog that share absolutely nothing in common, no common superclass, no common interface or anything like that. I have two petting strategies for each of them. First strategy, for example, if my cat wants to get a treat, well, he will meow and scratch. And strategy number two, if my dog wants to get a treat, well, he will sit. And of course, everybody knows that dogs are smarter than cats. So uh, my dogs will be able to remember the number of hairs they shed. So every time they will shed, my dogs will remember that they shedded one million more hairs. And I want my strategy to, to be a bit smarter. I want my strategy to remember how many um, treats were spent because I don't want to run out of treats. That would be a tragedy. So essentially what I want to do with my uh, pets and my strategies on the left hand side here what I want to do is to uh, simply create a, a vector of stateless type erased objects and match them, match a pet and a strategy. So a rover in strategy two, and then a new cat I have, sleepy in strategy two. I want to match them, and then I want to call for each of them, get treat and get petted. So my own implementation of that is as follows. I have the stateless type erased class here on the left hand side which will hold what is called a pimple. And a pimple is simply a unique pointer to an interface type. So if we go on the right hand side, what is an interface? An interface is simply the uh, standard C++ interface with the usual uh, default virtual destructor and the uh, usual uh, pure virtual uh, met, uh, function calls here. So I will have this interface here and I will have a templated class called implementation that will be a subclass of interface. And what will that do? This templated class implementation will actually store a copy of my object, my dog here, or my cat and my strategy. And in my constructor, as you can see here, when I will pass a cat or a dog and a strategy to implementation, well, it will just make a copy or it will move from them. And then I have get treat and get petted. So if we move back to the left, and I forgot to say that interface and implementation here are completely private to uh, the stateless type erased class here. So if I move back to the left hand side here, you can see that in my stateless type erased constructor, what I will do here. I will just essentially forward the cat or the dog I get as is, and will forward the strategy as is to the implementation type. And what, what will, my constructor will do is that it will create a pimple. The pimple is a unique pointer of type implementation. And my pimple here will be holding actually this object, this implementation, if we want, by the interface. It will be pointing to the V table of this implementation class. And this implementation class will be instantiated many times for all combination of pets and strategies I have. So uh, from my point of view, this is a bit uh, reminiscent of uh, what was small talks, uh, one of small talks philosophy that is do as little as you can and know as little as you can and pass the buck to somebody else. So that's essentially what will happen here. Well, now in my vector here, when I will call get treat or get petted with any combination of what I put in here, what will happen is that my stateless type, uh, type erase class will tell me, oh, you know, I don't know anything about get treat, but I know that the pimple knows about get treat. So it will call the pimple, it will call get treat from the pimple. The pimple will say, oh, I don't know anything about get treat, but what I know is that I'm pointing to a virtual table to an interface with the underlying class that knows how to handle get treat. I don't know anything about the actual object, but I know that I'm pointing to a V table 
that will be able to handle get treat. So what will that do? Uh, implementations get treat will be called and same here. Uh, the implementation here will say, well, I don't know anything about get treat, but I know that the strategy I was constructed with knows how to handle that. So I will just use the strategy that I was constructed with at compile time. I will send a get treat function to it. And as an argument, I will send the object that I was constructed with. So we will essentially have now this structure here. Um, we will have on the left uh, hand side my code. At the center, we'll have the main function here. I created Rover as a dog. I created strategy two, and then I created a stateless type erase object. And the stateless type erase object has got the pimple here that will be pointing to the vtable to the interface of this templated uh, implementation class. So again, get treat gets called here and the pimple calls it because it has a, a pointer to a vtable and the actual uh, implemented templated instantiated uh, implementation class that get treat from there gets called. So at this point, do we have any questions? So I do have a question sure. just to kind of put this in the in the right uh, perspective. So essentially the type erase, so this stateless type erasure wrapper is the one point where you link all of the things together. They're independent. Yes. They are don't know about each other. But exactly. at this one point you just, yeah, indeed put them all together. Yes. Right. And in, in that stateless, I always make a copy of the object and the strategy I get. And as you said, everything is put together. Exactly. And so this is what I was talking about uh, when I said uh, value semantics. It's a value. Mm -hmm. You can copy that thing. You can move it around. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you just know by pointer. It really is a value, uh, an object. Yeah. All right. So th there is no other question yet. Um, so please feel free to, to continue. Okay. So this is all fine and good, but the only problem I saw with my first naive implementation of it is that, let's say I have a, um, I defined Rover here and I defined strategy two, and I want Rover to tell me at one point after it was part of this get treat and get petted type erased object, I want Rover to tell me how many hairs it shedded and I want strategy two how many, to tell me how many treats were spent. And actually right now with this implementation, they don't participate in the type erased uh, object because they get copied, as we just said here, they get copied into the type erased uh, impl templated implement implementation class. So the rover and the strategy two I have in my actual code here, they don't know, they don't participate directly because they get copied. What I would like to do actually is to be able to do something like that, have a stateful rover and have a stateful strategy two that I could insert that I could match in my stateful type erased uh, class, a vector of them. And then I would be able, I would want to be able afterwards or before or after or during, I would be want to be able to actually still be able to use them and query them. So after I put everybody in my vector uh, and once they get petted and get treat, I would like for my stateful rover to be able to tell me how many Pairs it shedded, and for my stateful uh, strategy to be able to tell me how many trees were spent. So this is why I came with a second version of type erasure, which is a bit different. So now instead of having, as you said, the value of my objects into my uh, in temp uh, templated implementation class, my templated implementation class will actually hold a reference, a shared pointer reference to Rover and strategy. So essentially in my code, I create a shared pointer with Rover in. I create a strategy, a shared pointer with my strategy in. And what I want to do is have my stateful type erase type to actually use these shared pointers directly and not copy Rover and strategy over. So this is my code for my stateful type erase. Now it's changed a bit. Uh, if you remember my original implementation, I had actual objects. I was storing the actual object and I was storing the actual strategy. 
now in my implementation class, I will be storing shared pointer to my object and a shared pointer to my strategy. And my get treat and my get pattern methods will be slightly different. I will have to dereference, de of course, my strategy pointer. I will have to dereference my object pointer. Now, this assumes that this implementation templated class will always get shared pointers here. And in my constructor here, you can see that I will store whatever object pointer I get into my own object pointer and similarly for the strategy. So I have to devise this constructor. Now, this looks uh, like a mouth mouthful like that, but it's not that complex. Essentially, what I did is I created a macro that at compile time will be able to tell me in my constructor for stateful type erase, it will it be able to tell me if the object that I was given is a shared pointer. So in my constructor here, if I was given a shared pointer of object and of strategy, I will pass them right, right away as is up there to my implementation class. If any of them is not a shared pointer, I will just make a shared pointer of them, say, let's say strategy in that case. I will make a shared pointer of strategy and I will pass it up. And same thing here if object is not a shared pointer or if both are not a shared pointer. And this is done at compile time. I have a con con steps uh, if here. So this is uh, done at compile time. And every time I will guarantee my implementation class that they will get a shared pointer. So I see uh, when I devised that, I saw uh, three, actually two issues with it. First of all, is that there are three levels of indirection now instead of only two. If we go back here, we can see that each and every object that I pass to it, I will have to create on the heap instead of creating inside the implementation class as it was done five slides ago. Now my object and my strategy were created inside my implementation class. Now they have to be created separately on the heap. So that's one drawback. The second one is that the pass object cannot itself be a shared pointer. Let's say I wanted to type erase a shared pointer to an int. Well, my constructor up there will say, okay, you're giving me a shared pointer, so you want to type erase an int. So in that case, I would have to pass a shared pointer to a shared pointer to an int. But the uh, the advantage I see to this approach is that objects, they do not absolutely need to be copied or moved. So let's say I have a very complex dog object that I, is difficult to create and very difficult or long or impossible to copy or move. I can create it as a shared pointer like here. I can create a complex rover as a shared pointer and pass it to my type erase class. Any question up to now? All right, so by now we do have a number of questions. Yes. So uh, let me ask them in, in the order that they appeared, although the first one may be a little back. So the first question is, what exactly makes it stateless? So you call it the stateless type erasure? Oh, st yeah, stateless, that's the, uh, the least worst word I was able to come with stateless in the sense that I cannot remember the state of my original objects. Again, if I'm here, I actually integrate Rover into my stateless type erasure, and I integrate also strategy two in my stateless type erasure. After they've been petted and got treats, I don't have state of Rover anymore, and I don't have the state of strategy anymore. I cannot ask them what they're up to, what happened to them, because they didn't participate directly. Their copy participated, but the rover and strategy did not participate directly. It's that sense, stateless. Okay. So it's. It, it, I guess it would be very useful for tiny, small, stateless objects that you don't want to hear about once they're integrated, once they're absorbed, if you want, into the stateless type erase object. Yep. But I hope this, this perfectly answers the question. If not, so then please uh, ask again. Second question, um, are, we using our, uh, are we using Pimple since our main implementation class is a template? Uh, is that the only reason? Uh, sorry, what so, was the question um, again? Ajay is asking about the Pimple. Yeah. So uh, do we use the Pimple because our main class is a template or is there any other reason no. why we use a Pimple? We use a Pimple because 
we actually want the pimple just to be able to point to the uh, the V table of any class that we will implement here. It doesn't need to be templated, really. I could it could be not be templated, but the pimple doesn't have to know and doesn't want to know all the code here. What will happen here? It just needs to point to something that we want to uh, that we want to call, and it happens so here now that we have a templated uh, implementation class. So every time there will be some kind of huge class that the pimple doesn't know about, and it will just know that it's pointing to a mm -hmm. to a V table. All right. So again, I hope this answers the question. If not, please ask again. Then. Um, there's a question for slide two, which yeah. I, I believe um, we can just uh, clarify like that because it's about the naming conventions. Yeah. Very often in many type erasure talks, codes, etc., you find the names concept and model. You've chosen different names. You've chosen interface and implementation. Why is okay. that? Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh, well, that's a good question. This was it was probably part of my learning uh, process. That first of all, in the interface is a C++ interface as it is programmed here, and I considered that implementation like reflected how the thing is actually implemented under the interface. Mm -hmm. That's it, pretty much. Okay. I have one more question. You mentioned three interactions. I totally get yeah. that there's one virtual function in the uh, interface class. I get that you added one more virtual because of this shared pointer. But I'm still wondering where the third one is. So the, the second one from the original implementation. Yeah. Is that because your strategies have a virtual function too? No, no. The, the third level of indirection, if we want, is this reference here. Okay. So no, I didn't. In, okay. That cat and dog. But if it was an integer, let's say it was an integer, well, we wouldn't have the second level. I should have said an extra level of indirection. Okay. But it's not a base class. It's a concrete class still. Uh, yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm I'm happy. All right. Please continue. So uh, essentially, my stateful type erasure. Uh, my conclusion is that the constructor for stateful type, what I call stateful type erasure, will either, if an object or a strategy is passed inside a shared pointer by the caller, well, pass down these shared pointer to the pimples implementation, so that object and strategy are then accessed through a shared pointer by implementation. And if the object and or the strategy is passed as is by the caller, either an L value and R value and not as a shared pointer, well, copy or move them into a shared pointer so that pimples implementation always, always gets a shared pointer in all situations. That's for the stateful. Now, this is, I consider a bit wasteful and I was wondering if there was a way to do what I call a universal type race class which would combine both at the same time and at compile time it would actually uh, integrate whatever I pass to it if I pass to it an ob a dog or a cat or a strategy it will make a copy as the stateless version did if I pass to it a shared pointer it will actually keep the shared pointer as is and use the uh, the object and strategy are each access either directly or to the shared pointer they were provided in at construct time. So what I did is I, I devised a what I call a, a universal type erase class, which pretty much looks like the um, state less, the original version of it. The main difference is on the, the right hand side, I still have my macro compile time macro that is called is shared pointer. And if we go back on the left hand side, you will see that my constructor will just store whatever I pass to it into my object and my strategy. So if I pass an object, a dog or a cat directly, it will store that as is, it will copy it. If I pass a shared pointer, it will store a shared pointer. So what I have to do is devise on the right hand side, now I have to devise two more functions, one called object and one called strategy. And what this function does is that if the object that I was constructed with is a shared pointer, actually dereference that shared pointer and return a reference to it. And if the object I was constructed with is not a shared pointer, well, actually just return a reference to my object. And this is done at compile time. So this is not something that is done at runtime. 
So these, with these new functions that I have defined now, I can get either a pointer or a shared pointer or a pet or a strategy. And my get treat and my get pet, petted methods functions will be just slightly different. Instead of invoking directly strategy and invoking directly object as I did for stateless, I will actually call these functions that I just defined up there here, and that will return me all the time my actual object and my a reference to my actual object and a reference to my actual strategy. So this is pretty much the only difference. When I will call get treat, I call strategy this function instead of calling invoking the strategy directly, or instead of invoking the shirt pointer, as you remember from my stateful option, I had to dereference the pointer, get treat, and reference the object. So this is my a third version of type erasure and uh, the only thing with that is that which i have not done yet is to test how fast it is if i want to claim that it's some kind of universal version of type erasure i have to be sure that it's actually not slower if it's given only simple objects and if it's not not slower than the stateless type erasure and i have to check that it's not slower than the stateful type erasure enough if i provide to it only shared pointers so that is it for me now. OK, thank you very much. This was great. There's no more real question. There was a little discussion. So um, Daniel C++ posted um, something that was suggesting that the shared pointers could be inside a strategy themselves. However, I believe that in your third version, you have kind of addressed that question too. Because oh. indeed, um, you could not just pass anything. If you want to have a copy, you pass an object. If you want to handle it more like a reference thing, you would pass a shared pointer. And okay. It it's kind of addresses that. Okay. okay. So uh, now you, your two kinds of type ratio have turned into three. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's because of my, uh, my uh, universal type ratio, I'm not, I don't know yet if I claim that it, it's a real one, that it's really universal because I didn't test it yet. So. Two for sure, but then the third one has have to be tested. All right. So then there's no other question in the chat, which means thank you very much. 